It's Halloween again, when the veil between the two worlds are its thinnest, when the spirits from the other side come back. And that's one side of Halloween. And there's also the various different stories as well. And let's have a look at Jack O' Lantern. What's his story and how is it related to the Will of the Wisp? Stay tuned. And welcome back to the Bric-a-Brac shop. This is the portal to the paranormal, the spiritual, and the unexplained. And I'm Tom from the shop. So welcome back to another episode. And it's Halloween time, when they say the veil between the two worlds are the thinnest. And it's a tradition that goes back to pagan times, to Soan which actually represents the, the end of the harvest season and uh, the beginning of the winter months, longer nights and shorter days, and just getting everything ready to get you through the, uh, the cold winter season. But it's also a, tr a time when a lot of cultures actually believe that the dead or the spirits come back. You find it in the Chinese culture, the, the Mexican culture, the Day of the Dead, the Chinese Ghost Festival. Of course, they are slightly different times of the year, but uh, through the centuries, the times have actually all moved around a bit. But a lot of people do believe in the same thing, that the ancestors the dead spirits, um, all come back around this particular time that they celebrate these festivals. And uh, there's also a lot of stories that go around, different Halloween stories. And let's have a look at Jack O' Lantern. What is Jack? And we've seen it quite a few times with the cartoons and animations, the Will o' the Wisp. What, what are they? Well, let's have a look. Now, if you do like this episode, please press the like button, tell your friends, and do share the video. You'll help with the algorithms and get m more people to know about us. And do subscribe if you haven't subscribed as yet, and also click the bell and uh, the notification sign as well. Now, Jack O'Lantern. Now, what is he? And Will of the Wisp. Well, they're very much the same thing, just different names. And there is a whole folklore story to Jack-o'-lantern. And uh, I suppose if you look at it from a different angle, from a different perception, it's actually a bit sad. But uh, it goes also back to the Will of the Wisp. And that was a name of uh, a natural phenomenon that people would see over marshlands and bogs. And usually people would be traveling at night and they'll see these lights floating around through marshlands and it would be very strange. And they would think they were spirits or entities floating around. And there was these balls of light. And they're a bit like St. Elmo's fire, strange natural light that people would see floating around. Now, the scientific reason is that uh, it's different phosphorus gases mixing with methane and causing to ignite and creating these lights. And there was a lot of methane gas along these um, bogs and marshes, which is why these actually occur. So you can say that it's very much a scientific process. Now, in the olden days, of course, we didn't have explanations for this so no one really knew and in fact there's actually still si some people that say that the scientific evidence for it is not actually quite significant because they say with these lights there is no heat given off and also as you approach them they actually go away from you and uh, 
they're always a little bit different in um, observation from different people. So they're never actually the same. So there are people saying they are something a bit more paranormal about them. But that's what we've given to uh, the, will of the name Will of the Wiss and uh, Jack Lantern, because we now get to the story of Jack, which they say is the same thing. Now, Jack o' Lantern, well, a lot of cultures actually have something similar, but he's basically an Irish folklore character, Stingy Jack. That's what he's sometimes nicknamed as. He wasn't always the best of persons. He'd always cheat and steal, always trying to get the better of you. Well, his time had come and the devil was coming to get him. Or maybe when you read the story, maybe it was death that was trying to get him. But, um, so a devil was going to come after Jack. His time had come, he was about to die, and the devil was coming. And so he said to the devil, well, let's have one last drink. But uh, I need to pay for the drink. So, so he told the devil, why don't you turn into a coin and then I can pay the barman for our drink and then you can turn back and then we'll have our drink and then I can go with you. How about that? And the devil obliged. So he turned himself into a coin. Jack picked up the coin and very cleverly put it into his pocket with a cross, which of course the devil is scared of and didn't like. And so he was trapped in his pocket next to the cross because the devil was harmless against the cross. So he made a little bargain with the devil. Let me live another 10 years and I'll let you free. And so the devil agreed to it. So uh, Jack took him out of his pocket and uh, released him uh, from being a coin and let the devil free. And so Jack had another 10 years of life. Of course, the years went by and the devil came for Jack again. And being the sly fellow that Jack was, Jack managed to uh, trick the devil again. He got the devil to climb this tree to pick this fruit for him. And while he was up the tree, Jack carved a cross in the tree, trapping the devil. Now, of course, the devil needed to get out and wanted to get out. So Jack made another bargain with him. He said, let me go and never take my soul. And the devil agreed. And so Jack let him free. So the devil was free. Jack was free. And um, Jack lived more time. And of course, everyone finally passes on, dies. So Jack died, and uh, since he was such a sly, thieving person, St. Peter wouldn't let him into heaven. He couldn't get into heaven. He was too bad for heaven. And so he was sent down to hell. Now the devil, having made this bargain with Jack, and so the devil couldn't take his soul. So he turned him away to roam through the darkness that uh, all lost souls do. And in help, the devil threw him a burning ember from hell, this hot burning coal. And so Jack got a turnip, as it was back then, carved it out and put the ember in the turnip to light his way around. And that is the will of the wisps, or those uh, strange lights that we see, sometimes also known as Ignatius Factus, uh, the Latin meaning giddy light that floats around the marshes. That is supposed to be jack o' lantern wandering around the marshes. So that's the story of jack o' lantern. And it's supposed to be originally a turnip. And of course, over the years, that's changed to a pumpkin, especially when the whole tradition moved to America's and pumpkin was plentiful in America. So the turnip evolved to become the pumpkin. So that's the story 
of jack of lantern and those little jack of lanterns they're supposed to ward off evil the evil spirits that uh, could come and that's why the people put them in windows and uh, on front porches to ward off the evil spirits and that's been going since the pagan times so that's one of the stories or folklores of halloween what do you think write down your comments below and tell me what do you think of the story and of course it's changed over the time by different uh, people that have uh, written articles on it as well but that's basically the story of jack-o-lantern so i hope you found that interesting i certainly did because you always wonder about those pumpkins that you see around halloween so if you've enjoyed this video do press the like button tell your friends share the video and uh, and if you haven't subscribed as yet please subscribe and click the bell on the notification bell button so you won't miss out on my other episodes i've got other little stories come along because i talk about the the spiritual side of things also the paranormal and i've been to a few different places as you can see in my other videos and um, had a look around to some other places so that way if you've subscribed you won't miss out because i cover a wide range because i think they are all connected through quantum physics quantum physics will have the answer eventually to all these things so on that note happy halloween have a good time and uh, stay well and happy